Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Laboratory. It's Alex and Corey. Hey guys. Uh, we just wanted to quickly do a video on the Iron Man mask. It's our first big build. We're just going to go over um, how to clean the parts properly, how to put it together with some hot glue. So you can probably see to the side here, everything's already been printed out. It's been printed out in a low spot mini, 150mm cubic print area. A lot of the parts I had to cut into four pieces using slicing software. There's links in the description how to do that. Cool, let's get into it. So first up, we just need to clean these parts up so we can glue them together. So a few of the parts where the supports were, just um, you got a few bits that are hanging down which we need to clean up with the Dremel. If you don't have a Dremel, you could try and use maybe a sanding block, but obviously that's going to take a lot longer to do. We recommend trying to get a Dremel, they're pretty cheap at your local hardware store. Yeah, it'll make your life a lot easier. Another couple of other parts that did stuff up is this one here, which the bottom didn't really stick to the print bed. It did have supports down the bottom, but it just really didn't work too well as you can see so the plan is to dremel it off you can kind of see on the back here that we do have a smooth edge that i can dremel back to and that's where the part actually starts but the supports just completely failed also i put supports on this part which i actually printed it the wrong way probably because supports filled in all the grooves so i'm gonna have to dremel them out and make them neat like a fresh part So here's the finished Iron Man mask. As you can see, I haven't put the ears in yet. The only reason I've left them out is I'm thinking of cutting out the back bits here and making them sort of a roller door type, oh, I just moved, roller door type mechanic. Obviously you can tell now the jaw's not glued in either. That will be some kind of like a drop down mechanic. So when the face plate opens up in the moves, I've seen the jaw just lowers a little bit. Um, so I'm thinking of putting that in too. Next step is to put in some kind of filler that's sandable and we'll get rid of all these join marks and get rid of any imperfections and basically make it a perfect piece of art ready to paint. So that'll be part two.